What's going on guys, Oahu RC. It's been a minute. We've got a little helper here. This is Ali. You gonna help me unbox this? She loves her boxes. Well, we've got a special treat for everybody here today. The new, shout out Ali. Big Bad Arma Outcast 8S V2. So this isn't the roller, this is the ready to run version two. It comes with all the electronics in it and everything. They just released it, I like to say maybe a few weeks ago. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of here. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, let's get all the tape taken off here. There she is. Wow, I have not had a one-fifth scale uh, Arma vehicle before, but I have had, you know, all the Traxxas ones, the X-Max, XRT. So it is about time I tried one of these out, and I was actually waiting for this one to come out. Woo-wee! this guy back here. Got a box labeled part. Transmitters in there. So yeah, it looks like our wheels came not attached to the car. Didn't know it came like that. Let's go ahead and set these off. So these are just like, if you guys don't know, this car is basically just a really big version of the Notorious or the 4S Outcast. Um, which is intriguing to me because I like the Notorious and the Outcast a lot. They do a lot of flips. They flip very well, handle very good. Let's see if I can get this guy out. Oh, it looks like it's zip tied in here. Yeah, we got some little zip ties that are holding, holding it down. So let me go ahead and get that all squared away. Man, those zip ties were in there, but we finally got them out. Holy smokes, guys. This thing is heavy. Wow. Ooh-wee. She is a big girl. Very big girl. It's like it comes with a little... Uh, instructions on how to put the wheels on which we kind of already know how to do alrighty guys so I was just looking at everything and pretty sweet they give you an awesome nice big tool that's designed for these bigger nuts I was looking and I was like where's the parts bag but I forgot it was in the other box so yeah they give you a bunch of handy tools in here uh, a little more than the 6s tools I'd say I don't even know what this is like a clamp thing I don't know, what is that for guys I don't know uh, I got a high-speed gearing in here as well. I got some spare shock stuff, pistons and whatnot. So that's really handy. Um, so yeah, this is very, very well made. It's sturdy. It's got a nice little heft to it. Really like this, Arma. Really like this. So I'm going to throw these wheels on, and then we'll get the top off for you guys and uh, see what it's like under the hood. Okay, we've got all the wheels on. Not too bad. Let's try to get these clips off they have a little bit of like grease on the rubber so be careful you don't just pull the rubber parts because they will just oh this is pretty cool i've never seen this before they got these little tabs on here that are supposed to help um keep you from breaking through the body so they sit over that little hole they're attached to this string so that when you put your clip on it's got a little extra support right there. That's really smart. I wonder if that's gonna help keep the body together longer. So let's pop this guy off. Wow, don't just bash. Make sure you also blast. Very nice body. I like the, uh, the artwork and everything on it, the EXB all over. It looks kind of like a tribal tattoo kind of. Pretty sweet. Holy moly, look at what we got going on under here. Gee whiz. 
This looks pretty sweet, ladies and gents. Wow. B-E-A-U-T-Full. So we got our big, I think, pretty sure it's 1100 kV motor, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like we got a new pin system on this. That's nice. Uh, I don't know if the old EXB had this, but it looks like it's got just a pin here. That you, so you pull this pin and then this pin comes out and you can undo the center drive, uh, center brace. That's pretty cool. I like that design. Shocks feel pretty pretty nice right out of the box with no adjustment here i usually adjust mine all the way down if you guys have seen my other videos but wow guys this thing is sick got some sort of metal plating over here on the back and of course we got our nice aluminum chassis i wonder how long this is going to stay straight i don't know we'll see but flip over to the other side and we got our ESC here. I think this is a 160 amp, the Firma ESC. I will be running my Spectrum batteries, so I'm gonna have everything all Spectrumed out. Should be pretty sweet. But yeah, guys, I'm actually waiting for the batteries to come too. I have some 4S batteries, but I wanted to get some new ones uh, for this new big bad boy, because the other ones I have are pretty old and yeah, I don't want it to, uh, you know, I don't want to have any problems. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's, that's about it. I mean, uh, I've been, now I've been slacking on these unboxings lately, but, uh, you know, life happens. Stuff comes up, you got to do other stuff. Can't always just be doing RC all the time. Even though we do want to. We do want to. Now, what is weird is that I can't seem to get this body on. There we go. So it looks like then you put these little things over here and then you clip it on. That's not too bad. It might be a little bit annoying. It might suck when these strings break and then you can't hold this on anymore. So we'll see how long these last. I give it maybe one skate park session and then these will probably be broken. But we'll see guys, I'm stoked to try this big behemoth out. Uh, weight wise, I'd say it's right about, it might be a little heavier than the XRT, maybe by a few pounds, but boy, is it nice. Spiffy. Let's see how she holds up. Um, didn't open up the transmitter. I'm pretty sure it's just a standard. Uh, spectrum. I don't know which one we. Oh yeah, they give us the nice one. So this will be nice for me because I run the Spectrum batteries. So because I run the Spectrum batteries, I'll be able to get the battery level while I'm driving it, which is pretty, pretty sweet. So that's your remote there. This is the DX3. Yeah, DX3. I really like this remote. You can drive it one-handed. Well, I can. I got pretty big hands, but. It's really easy to drive one-handed. You got all your knobs here. And you can put that Bluetooth thing in if you use that. I've used it once for one of my crawlers, but don't really need it, honestly. So yeah, guys, that's uh, the Unbox. Unboxed Outcast 8S, the V2. This is the brand new ready to run version. I guess they're calling it the BLX, but it's also EXB. It's got EXB written all over it. Here's some of the features here. So we're gonna get this guy out and bash her up. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it all in this video. I might make two separate videos um, because I haven't seen any unboxing videos of this guy yet on YouTube. But yeah, guys, this thing looks cherry. Everything is super clean. I'm gonna have to go over and, cause you know, I live in Hawaii. I got a WD-40, all my metal parts and make sure, try to at least prevent a little bit of rust. Um, before bashing though, I'm gonna put some shoe goo around the motor wires here to keep that in. Gonna put tape around the connectors, the gray parts here. Um, I don't know, it looks like there's no space between the motor and the chassis, like barely any. 
So I don't think I'll have to put any uh, bracing underneath there. I usually put some bracing underneath my motors. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have to do that on this bad boy. Sounds like our gears are meshed correctly. Man, look at this center diff box. This thing is huge. It's massive. You guys see how big that thing is? That's what she said. Oh yeah, it looks good, sounds good. Oh, interesting. Look how they have the servo mounted right here. So the servo mounted with a huge servo saver right here. Got that big spectrum servo in there. Very nice. Stoked to see how this thing works, guys. Thanks for watching. That is the unboxing of the Arma Outcast 8S version two. Stay tuned for some bashing. Might be in this video, might be in the next video. Who knows? Have a great day. See you later.